have a background as engineer and 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 and, and um, uh, economics, um, and became an entrepreneur when I was 33, founding my own company in in, in the electronic components field, um, and this was then of a time change to a. Uh, chip design company, and uh, I, I had an exit in uh, in 2000. Sold the company to a big uh, American chip manufacturer, um, and um, my experiences as an entrepreneur, um, uh, I wanted to reuse uh, because it wasn't easy to to achieve all these uh, skills and, and experiences. And this is why I said I want to reuse it as an as an angel, as a um, as an investor. So when I finally uh, went out of this uh, of of the organization, um, my former company uh, in 2002, um, I started to join the business angel network here in Austria, and. Uh, did my first investment in 2003 and uh, continued from that time on. So, I s already mentioned part of the uh, motivation is uh, re reuse of experiences and skills. Uh, but on the other hand, of course, um, you somehow get addicted to the uh, to this process of uh, generating value. Uh, for your own benefit, but also somehow for the benefit of society. I think for most or at least all of my colleagues, this is this is similar, this mm. is the same uh, same motivation. So it's partly to give back uh, some of the things you have earned, um, partly by the help of others, um, and of course to um, to have this experience over and over again that you create something that you see it grow, uh, and 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 then bring it to a successful end. Angels um, are not financial investors only. Uh, generally, they invest their time, their relationships, their credibility, and they need a lot of, uh, or this requires a lot of interaction with the founders. So angels are a part of the company uh, and not a bank or something who give one m money and then, then uh, some Time later, they see whether it, it 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 fails or not. Yeah, so it's it's a direct involvement, and uh, that's also one of the drivers of um, of uh, of angels. Uh, if you invest, either it's money or or engagement, you generally you you work against the odds. It, it's highly likely that a, a, a young company fails. It's more likely than it fails than, it, than, than that it's successful. Yeah. So one of the motivations uh, of involvement is uh, to improve the chances that, that it works and that, that it becomes successful. And that, that this is why involvement is so important and for, for the angel. Uh, and some, sometimes, or most often, it's disturbing for the founders as well. Yeah? It, it causes some frictions. But, uh, of course, you can only be involved if you're close. <laughs> and this is why uh, you, you invest in companies close to your location. Yeah? And especially in early, in early stages, uh, Angels um, partly take over some operative roles, um, fill gaps in um, in the in the company's management. Uh, this is not the continuous thing, but um, 
as long as the, as the organization isn't complete. Uh, an angel, um, in many cases, has the right, the right experiences and skill sets to do it. In my case, uh, I'm more a generalist as a specialist, but uh, my, my background is, besides technology and economics, is sales. And, and I did uh, high-level sales over 35 years. Uh, and uh, you can imagine some 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 grey height guy uh, um, having certain uh, scars and and experiences can talk to some kind of customers um, in a different way than uh, than a twenty something. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, that's that that's. A the benefit of age and ex experience. This is nothing against uh, the young founders, but it, it is just inherently there. <laughs> Angels tend to have not a big portfolio like we see investors, uh, which is an advantage and a disadvantage in itself, because um, you engage more uh, if you only have, let's say, two or three companies you deal with, or maybe four. And hopefully there are in different stages, so uh, they don't uh, need the same amount of, uh, of involvement. The trend is that you don't have a portfolio and if something fails you just write it off. Um, angels tend to uh, go even through the, through the deep valley <laughs> uh, and, and, and help to solve big problems yeah, uh, and, and not write off their investment and, and just, just, just walk away. Mm -hmm. yeah? And this is um, somehow, somehow a little bit of life insurance for the companies as well. It's networking. Uh, so the, the Business Angel Club here um, provided by uh, uh, AWS in Austria. So they, 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 sel they select deals, they, they try to match uh, investors with uh, companies or founders seeking investment. For example, in, in, in our Business Angel Club, uh, there are maybe 300 applications. Uh, uh, roughly 100 are distributed among the community by the organization, by AWS. Um, and a single digit percentage finally uh, finds a deal or finds an investor. So you see the ratio. Uh, and about the same um, applies for VCs. Yeah, so you get the proposal every other day. Uh, and you sort very quickly, does it fit with my, my scope? Um, is the... the, 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 the uh, the stage right, is the industry right, is the location right, <laughs> and things like that. So you sort out quite quickly, very early, and then maybe <clears throat> once a month uh, or twice a month, uh, you get in touch with the company or vice versa. So there is a match. If there is a match, you, 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 you get the business plan. And for a seasoned angel, um, it's quite easy to tell from the business plan uh, whether there is substance behind it or not. And it's not so much uh, the idea, it's how the idea is presented and whether the entrepreneurs or the potential founders have a complete picture. In, in my field, in the ICT field, the main problem is that uh, it's technology, so potential founders are engineers, uh, and an engineer tends to overemphasize uh, the technical problem he's about to solve, uh, and completely underestimate the needs uh, in the market and the way how to get to the market. Mm -hmm. So uh, there is a 
there is a trap saying, I just want to finish my, my, my research or my, my development. Uh, and once I have the product developed, everything will fall in place by itself. That's one of the main, main problems one sees. Yeah? And if you look at the business plan, um, you, have, you start to have a feeling whether uh, the, these guys get the complete picture or not. Yeah? And then, um, if they have the complete picture and, and see that there is something missing in the company, like contacts or, or market access or something, but they are aware of the problem, uh, it's easy to, 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 to start negotiation, not so much on the, on the amount, that's, that's the next step, but on, on, on how, how a collaboration could work out. Um, and if they don't, if they don't get it, if there is no sensibility for the for the problem by itself, um, and they think they know everything <laughs> already, then uh, it's quite hard that one finds a deal. Yeah? If you get the feeling that um, these people are crooks or careerists or uh, tend to cut in corners. Uh, there's this clear no, because uh, it's like a marriage. When you when you become a, a shareholder in a company, or it's maybe um, easier to divorce <laughs> than uh, than to separate uh, as as shareholders. So you have to <clears throat> to test very carefully whether you can deal. Uh, with, with the people. And also that applies for the founders uh, against the angels. So if they don't like each other, if there is no mutual respect, uh, if, uh, the, the, if the founder only uh, tries to get the money uh, and, and say, I will get rid of this guy later on, and, and you sense it, then this is an inherent conflict uh, you, you, you have to avoid. So. Chemistry uh, and trust is a very important uh, yeah. aspect.